Hey guys, this is week three in our video series, Exploring Our Roots. And today we're gonna to talk a little bit about some of the immediate ministry opportunities we had in the city. We were able to be a part of a really tough neighborhood and we began a ministry called Fam Jam. So today we're gonna to hear from Joe and Corinne Cunningham as they share some of the ways that God worked through this neighborhood and continues to work today. And this is why it's important because every single one of us whether we were here in the beginning or just getting here now, want to be a part of God's vision to see New Life City Church bring the gospel to everybody in Kansas City and beyond. kind of actually sort of met a little bit through Fam Jam. So at the time there was, there was another couple that was like really heavily investing in uh, it's kind of like rebooting it, I would say a little bit. Uh, I had been part of it as like a once a month volunteer and um, another couple kind of like got it rebooted a little bit and started bringing in volunteers. And then Corinne started actually coming with me. Um, that was kind of like before we got married. So it came for him because oh, I was interested in him it. and he had a man bun. There was a man bun involved. True. <laughs> at, at the time, at the time, it was. And um, yeah, really. And then that kind of pushed me to start coming every week, every Sunday. And then once we got married, the two of us kind of like dove in 100% and we're doing that every week, every Sunday until we had a baby. And then we were like, okay, this is getting a little tough, uh, which is... <laughs> Really, where Troy and Leanne kind of like stepped in, helped us out a ton. We we uh, would go over there for lunches, and then they would start watching our kids uh, while we were doing Bam Jam. But uh, specifically, there was one grandma that was there in Shoto, and her granddaughter. She was really Wait, particular with her name. Her name is Miss Pooh. Miss Pooh. So Miss Pooh, she had a granddaughter. She was really particular on it. But after that, you know, trust came built up yeah. she let her start coming so we would come we'd knock on the door each sunday and she would be like yeah she can come to fam jam but if she's acting up you know like you let me know and like always well she was one of the ones that helped with thanksgiving mm -hmm. and we were super appreciative so we just actually wrote her and everyone else a thank you card and sent it to them and um miss Pooh, we like went by her house and we were either like dropping off her granddaughter, or picking her back up after that time frame, and um, she just stopped us and was like sharing how much that meant to her to just have someone write her a card, and um, really was actually like, crying through the the conversation because she was mentioning how um, no one had ever taken the time to really like see her before and like how much that meant to her just to be like seen and to be known for the most part but yeah there were a lot of um just great people that were in that community that we got to know and um great um really strong relationships that i think started forming even with with new life so there are a few families that started coming to the church um and helping support even other things that weren't necessarily that specific ministry related um, it's really cool, I think, seeing Gather KC um, and all the young adults that are coming now and even um, Elevate KC, hmm. um, the youth, when we first started coming to New Life, there were like maybe three or four teenagers that would be in the youth. Yeah, there, there was actually more of a connection because Northland Christian was connected yeah. with Fam Jam. They weren't coming to church here, but they would come. And so we actually knew more youth through like Fam Jam than we did mm -hmm. actually from our actual church. And actually got a chance to like go with them on to a missions trip yeah, to the Philippines. So yeah, oh, that was fun. Uh, those like younger years and then having opportunities to kind of live out your faith, I think to a greater extent, really is what um, created a lot of leaders that we got to, you know, connect with at an early age. Mm -hmm. So that tying in to new life would be like new life, elevate KC, gather KC all coming up and creating even more leadership, which is super exciting. Um, but yeah, it's just really cool seeing uh, Matt and Amanda and Becca, um, Tim and everyone, and all they pour into the 
I think some would call it the future of the church, but it's actually the current church that's mm-hmm. just rising up, and it's really yeah. cool. Really cool to see that. Mm-hmm.